Hello Leos, welcome to Brutally True Tarot. I'm just reading this from 27th of August to 2nd of September. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Leos. Seven of Skulls. Three of Scepters. The Magician and three of things. Okay. Leo, you might be dealing with a third party situation because here with this way of chaos looks like graves looks like that this person is involved uh, into something. Okay, here you know this person might be a friend or someone who is just more than a friend, or you can say this person is not supposed to be this close to this third person, but uh, still um, they are trying to defend themselves. It's like that uh, whenever you are asking questions like why are you doing this or is this appropriate this person has some argument to offer or you can say this person is giving excuses after excuses and most importantly they will try to blame it all on you like you are insecure that's why you are thinking in this way you're not supposed to question them or you should trust them and it's just a friendship or something like that and uh, you don't understand how to react because with the seven of skulls looks like that you're waiting for something this person means a lot to you and uh, maybe you are just keeping the patience because you want to be with this person you want it to work but then how far can you neglect this this kind of behavior this person is not even ready to uh, give you explanations and this might trouble you okay because with the three of scepters it's about gaining your strength once again it's about gaining some clarity it's about finding a direction a new journey is about to start so maybe this person will uh, trigger you so much that you will be you know, compared to choose something. It's like that this person is pushing you to decide something that you have avoided for long. Okay, so here with the seven of skulls, maybe you are waiting for them to change. Maybe you are waiting for things to get better. And uh, it's like you don't want to lose this relationship. This person is really important to you. And this could be something that is here for a long time. I mean, it has been something that uh, you just cannot think of letting go okay so it's like that you want to stay in it because it's a long-term relationship maybe or even if it is not you are connected to them so deeply that you now feel like that it's it's impossible for you to walk away but then with the card of the hermit I see that you are gathering the courage you are gathering the courage to hold the fire for yourself, to find a way out of this darkness. You want to um, find yourself once again. 
I think that you are realizing that this person has changed you a lot. This person has treated you like an option. And um, with the card of the magician, somewhere in your heart you know that this person is pretending to be someone else. Okay, it's like they're creating an illusion and um, they want you to trust them. So it doesn't look like that you are going to trust that Leo. Because I see that now your mind is taking over. It's like now you're not guided by your emotions and uh, you know that you need to find yourself first before you lose yourself completely into this darkness or into this chaos. So I think that this week is going to be quite dramatic for you. You might feel a lot of mood swings. You will feel like giving up every now and then. And um, you know, it's just a process. It's a process where you will start something new. You know, direction will change. However, this is a general reading. This is not going to resonate for all and the energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you, Leo. Five of scepters. Priestess, Queen of Grains, and Ten of Knives. Okay, so here we have five of scepters. With this five of scepters, it's about defending yourself. It's about thinking um, positive about this whole situation or it's about finding your courage once again. You see here you're standing in front of something. Something that is trying to intimidate you or something that is trying to uh, make you feel vulnerable. Um, I see that you have this courage to face this all and you are doing exactly the same and then here you have the card of the sun you and them are connected even if this third person is here this person cannot break this bond and um, with the card of the sun this person feels intense attraction towards you but maybe these things are subconscious from right now because um, for now this person feels that um, they don't need to put any extra effort into it. Maybe you are waiting and this person is taking you for granted. They feel like that for now everything is alright and uh, even if you, uh, you know, walk away you will be coming back. And then here you have the card of the priestess. With this card of the priestess a lot of secrets are there in their head, in their heart, and you need to find it first. Because with this Queen of Graves, I think that this person is scared that you will discover these secrets sooner or later. This person feels like that you are their reflection and they can see you clearly. You know, they can see through you clearly that uh, you have changed or you are thinking something that uh, that is quite dangerous for this relationship. And then here you have Ten of Knives. Okay, it's about uh, realizing the subconscious feelings. Okay, this person isn't realizing their subconscious feelings. They don't know that they are connected to you at a deeper level. And I think that you being yourself or you finding your courage, you finding your worth and uh, you being able to walk away, you know, with dignity is making them uh, feel vulnerable here. With the stand of knives, this person is devastated, they are hurt, and uh, they feel alone. Okay, so this is something that they're going to feel this week. Let's check an oracle message for you, Leo. Four of 
for a spreading. So it's about relaxing. It's about spending some time with yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Here you have the card of the hermit. It's telling you to get, get lost into the forest and it's telling you to uh, find your true self. It's telling you to enjoy the moment of, you know, bliss here in this nature. So it's about calming your mind and you'll find yourself once again. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.